Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and we are back with uh, another interesting topic on docker Okay, so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to talk about the commands run cmd and entry point Which we usually use on uh, docker file okay? So uh, what uh, we do is usually is like when we create a docker image uh, We will read the instruction what we written in the docker file right which will uh, create a uh, uh, build uh, docker images when we uh, run the docker build command right so usually when we write a docker file we start with the from instruction so the from, from instruction specify the parent image which you're building from right like for example if you're starting with ubuntu or node.js or java or alpine so that uh, will be the base image which we start and when we ra uh, execute uh, the instruction which is written on the docker file it will add additional layers on top of this existing image right so uh, that's the usual background of uh, how uh, the Docker uh, images are created when we run the Docker uh, build command on the Docker file. Okay. So what we see in this tutorial is like how we can use the run CMD and entry point in Docker file. Okay. So a lot of people will have a confusion on what is run, what is CMD, what is entry point, and which cases we have to use. So we'll clarify all, all these things in this tutorial okay and uh, the final docker image as we spoke which will be a layered structure right so the core image or base image will be the one which we used uh, as a base image right and on top of it there will be several layers will be created when we run these commands in the uh, docker file right so yeah, that's how it will be happening so let's see uh, more about uh, the run cmd and entry point command so when we spoke about this run command, uh, the run command is always uh, used to execute uh, a new layer or it's create a new layer in the image whenever we run, a, uh, when we use the run command in the Docker file. Uh, for example, we use uh, this run command for installing software packages or application. So if you create a Docker file, you add a com uh, command like run app to get install mysql. So what it happens is this will install uh, MySQL on that uh, core base image. It will create an additional layer, right? So usually run command is used to create software packages or applications. So run is more like, you know, you're running a uh, normal command in uh, Linux or uh, environment or, you know, in uh, normal uh, Windows, you go to run and you run a, a command, right? So that's how usually you can interpret as run. So. Uh, that is what uh, simple uh, about run. Okay, now to talk about uh, CMD. The CMD command uh, allows you to set a default uh, command or parameter. So when you uh, execute a Docker container, so you can set a default uh, parameter uh, uh, that can be set using the CMD. So uh, this will be executed if you run a particular con container. Okay, and uh, the difference of CMD and with entry point is like you know in cmd when you run a container without specifying additional command it will use that as your default command but if you create uh, if you use uh, along with the docker run container command use another uh, additional parameters it will override the uh, commands which we set in the cmd okay so we'll see that uh, in a example so i'm just giving a, a base information here so the entry point as i said it's almost look like a cmd power uh, this configures the container as an executable form. Okay, that means like you know, when you run a container, its default takes the parameters you set in the entry point. Uh, but I uh, know you cannot change that. Uh, no, as a, as a command, uh, CMD, uh, you know, command which we are using. So it's always uh, execute uh, the particular command which you set uh, in the entry point. There are ways to change it, but usually you know, in entry point, once you set you uh use that uh, when you run the container okay and uh, if you want to change those uh, command as default probably what we do is we use entry point along with that we use cmd so we can additionally add uh, parameters in the container okay so before i get started more on uh explaining on this with examples i would request you to subscribe to my channel uh, kindly like this video share and comment so let's uh, get into a little bit more depth on these uh, commands run cmd and entry point right so all these commands uh, have a two kind of form so it's not like you can write uh, these in the docker file in a single form so all these have a two separate kind of way to write it so one is a shell form another one is a 
executable form okay so this is how the shell form uh, format will be like you will have uh, the instruction and the command so instruction means it will be like run and the command or cmd the command or entry point the command right and the executable uh, form will be like with this uh, square brackets so you'll have run and the square bracket brackets where you'll have the executable uh, and then the parameters then the same way like if cmd it's, uh, the instruction will be cmd and the square back brackets with the uh, and the executable and the parameters okay and the same for entry point as well we'll see uh, with the example in the upcoming slides and we'll also do it uh, as you know uh, the practical on the docker uh, machine okay so let's go to the run command so if uh, give an example of run so as i said run is usually used to install applications or software so for example the shell form would be run and the uh, command right so if i want to install or something uh, in uh, in ubuntu or debian so it will be apt get uh, hyphen y for suppress and the update or you know it can be uh, some other like apache or hgp or some content and the executable form, you know, the difference is run, and then you have the uh, the square brackets. So the executable uh, is apt get right, and the parameters are install and probably Apache too, right? So uh, to give a Docker file example, so this is how the Docker file uh, will be writing. So if, uh, uh, if you see the first Docker file I mentioned, like from Ubuntu, and it should be run apt get hyphen y update and uh, and App get y install apache 2 right so that will be the whole uh, docker file which will uh, use the ubuntu as a base image and on top of it it will run this command and the second example is like from alpine uh, base image i'm running uh, apk add uh, force httpd so it will install httpd on the alpine base image so let's see how uh, we how we can do this in the uh, you know docker uh, node okay so let me uh, try to go to the machine so this is my uh, docker uh, machine okay so i'm going to create a docker file okay and i'm going to insert uh, this uh, docker file which we use like alpine and uh, uh, the run command okay so i'm going to use the run apk add for http as a docker file okay and i'm going to save this so now I have the Docker file. The next step is you need to build the uh, image, right? So the command would be Docker build t and the uh, uh, Im image name what you want to create. So it should be run Alpine because I'm using as a sample for run and the uh, Docker file is in the current container, right? So if I run this, you can see the first step is uh, it's going to check for the Alpine uh, base image. Since it's not there, it's trying to pull the base image, right? So it's downloading. And the uh, next steps, you can see it, it has created the, uh, the first uh, layer, or image layer, right? And then it started installing uh, HTTP, right? And uh, it has uh, created uh, another layer. So, so what it happens is, you know, every Docker uh, commands, it will create a different layer. Uh, so that's why we say like it's, uh, it's a layered structure. So it's created on top of the base image, okay? So that's uh, the sample of a run command. So it has installed uh, HTTP. Now you can use uh, this uh, image for other uh, purpose. Okay. So, but I'm not going to get into that in depth. So let's get into the CMD and the other entry point uh, section. Now let's talk about uh, the CMD command. So as I saw, like the CMD also have uh, two different kind of forms. One is the shell form. So the command uh, format will be the CMD and the command. Uh, and the parameter one or two, right? So the example would be like CMD and the command would be is, for example, I'm using echo. Maybe if you want to use shell or bash, it should be like a slash bin slash bash, okay? Or a search. So uh, what it does is like, I'm trying to print the hello world using the echo, right? So this would be the shell form. If I do the same thing in uh, executable form. It should be like this, So right? If you see the CMD, and the square brackets in the executable is slash bin slash echo and the hello world is the parameter right so uh, to give a docker file example so this is how it will be so from alpine and uh, the cmd uh, hello echo hello world right so what uh, we do is we create a docker image using this docker file and uh, when we run the docker image using uh, docker run it you will see the output as hello world 
uh, because by default the uh, CMD sets uh, that as the base parameter, right? Uh, when you run a container, it should use the echo hello world as the base output. But when you add additional parameters along with the Docker run command, like if you run Docker run hyphen T image and slash bin bash or sh, uh, what happened is CMD is getting ignored and it will change it to a shell interpreter or a bash interpreter. Okay, so let's see how it works. I'm going to remove this uh, Docker file, okay, and I will uh, create a new one. And I'm going to use uh, this new uh, uh, command uh, with the CMD. So run Alpine from Alpine and uh, CMD echo the world. Okay. So let me save this, and I'm going to build uh, a Docker image from this. I'm going to use docker build same way, okay, hyphen t, and the uh, image name I want to give as cmd alpine, and the uh, docker file is in the current container, okay. So since uh, already the alpine image is there, it says download it quickly, okay, so uh, now it's uh, creating the uh, another layer, okay. So now let's create a docker container, so it should be docker run hyphen it, and uh, cmd alpine is the image, right. Now you can see the output is a hello world, right? So because we have set the default parameter as cmd echo hello world, right? Now if I do the same uh, thing and if I use uh, gel as uh, as additional parameters, you can see now uh, the, out the output is like we are inside the container, we are in the shell prompt, right? So we are not getting the hello world. So that's the cmd uh, concept so you can set as a default uh, command which it has to run when you create a container but at the same time you can override with the additional parameters okay now let's get into the entry point so uh, now let's talk about entry point so the entry point as i said it's almost similar to cmd and uh, again here also we have uh, two forms one is the shell form where you'll have the entry point command and parameters so the example uh, for example same uh, as cmd you can use entry point and echo hello world right and uh, the other uh, parameter is uh, the executable form so we can use entry point and uh, the square back brackets so being uh, echo and hello okay so what are the differences once you set uh, this uh, entry point uh, that becomes the default uh, parameters when you run a container so uh, as i said the executable form of entry point allows you to set uh, commands and uh, parameters okay and then use uh, either form of cmd to set additional parameters that can be changed so if you want to set uh, some parameters which need to be changed so you need to use entry point along with cmd we'll see that also so this is a example for it so entry point i'm using bin echo hello right and along with that i'm using cmd world so what happens is when you create a container uh i don't i don't know you can guess it the output should be hello world here if i you know run something along with uh, the container it will take that uh, with, with the hello okay so we'll uh, see that uh, but a, a, this executable format uh, will work this if you're using a shell format here like uh, from alpine and just entry point echo hello world the CMD will be skipped, so it will directly take the uh, entry point. There will no, it will skip all other parameters. Okay. So let me uh, delete this Docker file again, and let me create a new Docker file, and let me insert this content over here, okay. and let me save this. I'm going to create a new image, so it should be docker build hyphen t, and this will be entry alpine, okay, and the image uh, is in the current folder, okay. So it has created three layers here, okay, so if I run docker run hyphen it and uh, entry alpine, you can see the output is hello world, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, additional parameter over here so i'm used uh, from the tips probably i'll just uh, use the for you okay now we can see it's the output is different hello tips for you right because this tips for you uh, replaces what uh, is given inside uh, the cmd because uh, this is parameter is overwriting what is written in the world 
but it does not uh, replace anything on the entry point so the entry point is stable it cannot be changed but you can change what is there in the uh, cmd so that is the difference uh, with the cmd and entry point so i hope uh, we covered what is used for run which is basically for installing application or software packages and cmd is to set the default uh, parameters when you run container which can be overrun with additional parameters which can be used with the docker run command uh, but entry point as i said it's uh, set uh, the parameters which cannot be uh, changed but if you want to add more additional parameters you can use cmd along with that so that is all uh, for this tutorial so i hope uh, this is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment